Hey everyone, I'm Northern Explorer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be installing gator back mud flaps front and back on my 2017 F-250. Stick around. All right, let's see what's in the box. First of all, the shipping weight on this, I think was 23 pounds, so it's a, a pretty beefy set of mud flaps. There's actually four different part numbers that you can order separately if you wanted to. Got the rear bracket assembly. The front bracket assembly, all aluminum. The front mud flaps. And the rear mud flaps. We'll take a closer look. The next thing that I need to do is take everything out of the bags and compare it with the parts list just to make sure that I have all of the individual pieces. So this is everything that came included with the front kit you got the mud flaps the mounting bracket and all of the hardware all included it's 81 individual pieces and then you got the instruction booklet and the stencil i still need to cut the holes in the mud flaps and this is everything that came included with the rear mud flap kit you got the mud flaps all the attachment brackets and all of the individual hardware 137 parts in total plus the stencil for cutting the holes and the instruction booklet the next thing i need to do is gather up all the tools that i'm going to need for the job to install the front mud flaps i need a 7 16 open end wrench and a 7 16 socket I need a 5 16 open end wrench or a 5 16 socket. I need a slotted flathead screwdriver, a 10 millimeter open end wrench, and a 10 millimeter socket. I also need a 732nd or a 5.5 millimeter in this case socket. Tools to install the rear mud flaps include a 10 millimeter open or socket wrench, 7 16 inch open and socket wrench, 5 16 open or socket wrench, a push pin removal tool, which I don't have, so I'm going to wing it with this, a Robertson number two screwdriver, square head screwdriver, uh, and all. And because I have the aftermarket fender liners, I'm gonna need a 3 8 inch drill. The next thing I need to do is cut the stencils out to size and then use them to cut out the individual mounting holes on the mud flaps. So I just got done cutting the holes in the mud flaps for the mounting hardware. A couple of things. First of all, it would have been nice if they had done this at the factory. It would have taken two seconds to stamp it out. But also, the instructions are wrong on the front mud flaps. It says lay template onto the front of the mud flap. This is the back of the mud flap. This is the only way the template would fit. Otherwise, this hole would be off the edge. So the instructions are wrong. And I double checked that with the rear mud flaps, the instructions say, lay template onto the rear of the mud flap. So their instructions are wrong. Um, the front has three holes. 
Took a while, but not too bad. The back has six holes. This is gonna take a while. I'll spare you from videotaping that. Five point five millimeter. The installation was quite a bit easier on the front. I would recommend starting up here and then moving to the back once you got this installed. The hardest part of the installation was getting the mud flaps to work with the aftermarket wheel well liner. This bolt right here was the hardest one to reach underneath the, the wheel well liner. Other than that, it went pretty easy, it just took a while to do. I decided to go with the mud flap that doesn't have the emblem on the back. I like the basic black and it's a little bit cheaper this way too. I considered painting the brackets black but I figured they'd be sandblasted back to bare metal the first gravel road I drove down. So I'm going to leave them like this. Should be just enough clearance for when I upsize to 35s. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.
Who wants another cracker? You cracker for you? Cracker? All right, a little cracker for you. 